and welcome back to another episode of Green Oaks' Let's Play of Victor Trust Challenge Mode, I'm just fine. And today, well not actual today, but a couple days ago, the beta for Vector Thrust has been released. As you can see right here, it is done beta. Oh, and by the way, the reason why I didn't restart the whole uh, going through the uh, going through the uh, bef before this page, basically the meaning even before that, so I, I don't know what to call it, the intro. Um, the reason why I didn't show that again is because it's still sort of alpha for whatever reason. But anyway, so in the beta, uh, now quick actions has been fully released. So now basically you click on quick action and there's a 30% chance of you flying a plane like you've never flown before. And it's pretty cool, basically just go in there and just have fun. But today we're going to do more challenges. They didn't really add any more aircraft, what they did add is ability to, uh, to pay for aircraft they, that are not in the trees yet. So let's see if we can find an example for that. Not really. Alright, but anyway, so today let's do some, uh... Shall we try this guy again? No, 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 I want to do some F-16s, there we go. Oh yeah, they did add F-16s in this, by the way. In the beta, I believe they added like two of them, so let's do some of this. Alright, let's do some F-16, actually, that's pretty cool. Actually, let's see. That should be easy. That should be relatively easy. Okay, let's do that one. Uh, let's do this first because I like it. I believe I read. I believe I already read the. Um, uh, descriptions for the F-16s, did I? Oh, let's do them again. Why F-16 slash CCV? The CCV modification of YF-16 prototype airframe adds a set of experimental Carnar systems mounted on the intake for enhanced movability. Year 1976 prototype. Uh, the AFTI YF-16, no info, no, no info, year 19. 80 concept and the F-16A Block 5. The F-16A is the initial production variant of the fighting of the fighting Falcon, proven in both proven in combat to be both effective and reliable. The block the Block 5 electric update mainly corrects minor avionic errors. Year 1977 mass production. Oh, new. All right, let's. Destroy some of the flying guys as our weapon. That's an interesting colorization for, the, for an F-22. I'll be right back. I, I want to check something. All right, there we go. I want to check my sound real quick. Hopefully it's right. I think it's right, but it's always nice to check. All right, yeah, it's fine. All right, let's do that challenge again. I also, also want to check the date. I mean, that's a date to time, and it's not listed right. All right, let's try this again. The YF-104A Starfighter. Interceptor. Thank you. 
I'm just feeling this mission is not yet complete. Because you know, if these missiles are having that much trouble locking on, then we got a problem on our hands. No, well, this is a beta. And they're basically focusing on adding more content. Could be user error, but I don't think it is. I don't spend, spend time on the mission that we know that's not gonna happen. All right, let's use Dev 16A. Yeah, let's hope, th let's hope this missile actually works. Yeah, let's hope the Maverick works, because Mavericks are awesome. In every single flying game I know Mavericks in, they're pretty awesome. Let's try the point. Yeah, it's gonna go low. Or it's just going to... uh, I guess the beta is meant to do some interesting bugs. Or maybe just in the game. And... Oh, there we go. Now we got multiple targets. Of all time, so you know, it's the 
doesn't work, I expect it to work. If it doesn't work, I expect it to work, then maybe I'll try. I'm talking the right one. The right, the right, the one on the left. The one that I'm pulling at right now. Why was I falling in the ground like that? Why was I falling in the ground like that? That was weird. That's weird. Yeah. are fun oh f-15s yes guess what we're doing guess what we're doing oh and oh and um night fighters yes first stealth aircraft oh my word oh there we go but let's do some f-15 action all right so um f-15a oh we actually no let's take a look at what we unlocked oh we unlocked a ton of stuff here and we got s for once yes Alright, let's read the descriptions of the new F-16s. Okay, F-16 FSU, the radical modification of the Falcon in order to experiment with aircraft performance and moving and maneuvering envelopes. Uh, this modification adds four swift wings to the airframe design, year 1976 Co concept. Yeah, okay. F-16 S slash MTD. The STMD variant of the Fal of the F-16 is a derivative of similar F-15 project, boasting redesigned engines with thrust vectoring technology and vertically canted uh, canards. Yep. There's no reaction for that. To greatly enhance the Falcon ability, agility in combat. That's six oh, and that's uh, this is what year? Uh, 1977. F-16C Block 25, no info, year 1984, year 1984, mass production, and F-16 Agile Falcon, uh, year 1984, mass production. All right, now let's look at the F-117 the F F tree, also known as um, Stealth Attackers. Oh, well, yeah, it's a, they call it Stealth Fighter, but... Oh, my word, look at all this text. Um, they call it Stealth Fighter, but you can't do much fighting in it. If you do, you will probably lose hard. All right, so, Echo. The absolute the absolute first beginnings of the F-117 F series. The Echo Project was the first tangible experiment into stealth aircraft production. The aircraft produced an exhaust... And they, okay, the, the aircraft... The airframe, the airframe produced after exhaustive computer simulations was grotesque to say the least. I don't think it's that bad, but it was the first step in producing a highly successful night, the highly successful Nighthawk. The simple, fast design offers inherent safety, 
inherent self capability that, when coupled with RAM coding, uh, stealth bank basically, render the echo invisible to radar. Weapon systems and basic electronics have been added to this design, but but are characteristically limited by the economization by the ecumen. I can't say that word right now. I can't think of that word right now. The accommodations require to achieve self capability. Year 1974 concept. And this guy also has a lot of text. X S the X S T. Oh wow. That looks like it's like that looks like it's a space fighter of some kind. Designed as a competitor to Cecil Now How program, the X S T offers the same design as its rival during featuring a Delta style low observatory a lifting surface which with uh, sharply swept wings and limited weapons carriage as such the aircraft inherits bo both the advantages and this the advantages and the disadvantages of this knock design low observatory low observatory uh, low observatory performance but reduced weapons inventory and handling characteristics characteristics however the xst design um, carries a large oversized air intake on top of the cockpit in order to facilitate better airflow at greater angles of attack than a Nighthawk. Allowing for a greater slow speed performance as air continues to flow over the engine as the aircraft rotates and expands and, uh, expand for some stealthiness. I can't believe they use that word. But it fits, but it fits up perfectly in what they're saying right here. But anyway, so year, year 1974 prototype. Interesting. And it better be a lot easier to see out of that cockpit than the stealth hawk. I mean, then Nighthawk. Stealth Hawks are different things. Uh, but yeah, so, uh, let's do... Uh, hmm. What should we do? Ah, let's try an F... Let's try an F-15. Uh, F and again, these are... To be... Uh, <laughs> ooh, well, he's like... Okay, destroy all targets using only guns. Right, Roger that. Alright, so, um... Yeah, uh, I'm... I usually go for C, but that's, yeah, that's to be done. All right, let's do this. We got 12 minutes left. Let's do this. All right. Guns on the All right. Oh, they're moving the building, so that's something. Oh, and it falls like a boss.
know that. I love, I, man, I need to use F-15s more often. And now I unlocked one that I will probably use it more often. Alright, no TD new aircraft. This is all reading this in this episode. Alright, the F-15B. The F-15B is a training variant of the F-15A. Replacing internal fuel supplies with provision with provision for another or provi can that be like provisions with provision for an for another trainer seat or oh that's two okay they uh, typo their Swiss right there uh combat okay replacing internal food supplies with provisions for another training trainer seat combat performance is otherwise unaffected year 1972 mass production no right F 15C the, F uh, the Eagle C is an improved air combat variant of the airframe, with many electronic updates to keep the Eagle functioning as the premier air fighter. Year 1978 mass production. The F 15 Streak has a lot of text that must, that must mean it's special. Yeah, it kind of looks special, it kind of looks smaller. Um, the F 15. The, the oh no, this is the Strike Eagle, it's just cutting it off. The Strike Eagle is the evolution of the. Of the uh, and intuitive, intuitive to break the world speed and climb records. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, the strike, the oh, streak eagle, not strike eagle. The strike eagle is the F 15E, I believe. The strike, the F 15 streak, the streak eagle is an evolution of the initiative to break the world speed and climb records. Descending from Stur Str uh, Sage Burner F 4 Phantom of the 1960s. Uh, in all unnecessary parts have been removed, leaving the eagle without radar, targeting system, or ordnance. Even the paint has been stripped off to remove any excess weight. However, the engines are re have received an upgrade to propel the Streak Eagle faster than the Saturn V rocket at some points in its historical flight. Wow. Year 1988. No, we're, year 1980. Prototype. Wow. Okay, that seems fun. All right. Uh, let's do. You know what? Let's let's make let's mix it up. Let's do some echo. I want to do some echo. Who wants to do some echo? I want to do some echo. Yeah, we got plenty of time. All right, destroy five helicopters as quickly as possible, buggy. Or not, not implemented yet. Okay, we need five helicopters down. Got it. All right, let's do this. You want, those, you want us to go into air with a with a with a prototype of a knife of a nighthawk? Yeah, I will try my best. I mean, who am I kidding? I'd go air to air with an A-10. It's very, uh, oh, it does have some detail. Oh, no, this thing is, you saw it, um, if you, if you thought the prototype Tomcats were, uh, uh, if you thought the prototype Tomcats were sluggish. Oh, oh yes. And if you thought the prototype Tomcats were sluggish, think again. Think you haven't proven so wrong, I can't even believe this thing is just this thing has some sluggish thing in the game. I really do like this thing, it's really interesting. Even though it's really sluggish. I love how you walk on the weapons with the boy, that's pretty cool. Okay, walk on again. I think I think they put him in the way, I can use it as well. I mean, the thing with um, Vector Trust as it is right now is some of the challenge modes are easy, some are really hard, some are perfect. Uh, some are perfectly placed. So, I mean, it's pretty good. But then, like I said, this game's in beta, and I mean, it just came out of Alpha, now it's in beta, and the beta really didn't uh, mess with challenge mode anyway. This game was um, fixed as well as um, messing around with the uh, quick action and adding more features to challenge mode instead of actually. But don't worry, they, they're probably on it. They're probably on it. I don't know. Okay. I, I love this game. You know, some of the, you know, some challenges could be a literal, uh, how do I say, a little unfair challenge, and it could be challenging, and then it's completely unfair. Um, it works. It is a good system. I like it. And I mean, and after they have the ability to actually purchase aircraft instead of having to challenge.
Well, that's actually a rather interesting feature that Pegasus has that, that, that I don't think any other flight game actually really has. I think me, I think many, many flight games. They don't think that we flight games are a challenge mode where you test out every single aircraft. Success in its own little twisted challenge that they give it based on how it's like. Although I do wish it could, uh, I, although I do wish it could have all, all that aircraft and like everyone says, so I believe that would be used very well. Uh, I mean, it's nice. I mean, like, the only real downfall to the challenge system is if you were to, uh, let's say, if you had to, basically, if you lose the, if you lose your saves, which is unlikely since it's a Steam game, but if you were to lose your saves, uh, then you would, um, uh, you'd be in a in rough situation, especially if, especially if you have unlocked everything. As you've seen in this series, it's slow to get everything. So yeah, now let's take a look at the Hopeless Diamond. That's pretty awesome looking. Alright, Hopeless Diamond. The Hopeless Diamond was the progenitor of a long line of, of development and research and, and experimental aircraft. That eventually led to the successful F-170 Nighthawk Stride Aircraft. The design of the Hopeless Diamond allows the majority of radar waves to be reflected away at, at all angles, slightly raising the surrounding area with more interference, but otherwise remaining largely invisible. The Hopeless Diamond is a stealthy but low-performance strike aircraft carrying lots of ordnance and lacking weaponry. However, its stealth and low visibility allows the pilot to carefully plan out its, his attack to use his weapons to their full potential. Full, full potential. Year 1975 prototype. I like it. We're going to be doing that next. But we are out of time. Uh, I mean, we probably uh, we probably have enough time to do one more. But I, I'm just going to say we're out of time. So yeah, we unlocked. We we made some serious progress. We we uh we did one of the F-16s. We uh compl we completed an F-15 and an F-117 mission. Uh, I mean, it definitely makes up for the fact that we were stuck on a mission. We were stuck on like two missions for uh, a good, for one or two episodes where we didn't get much progress. Now we're getting some serious progress. That's pretty cool. And I mean, the challenge mode is just really, really good. I like it. it it's a really good mode. I mean, make, I mean uh, oh, and also in beta, uh, I forgot to mention earlier uh, that they had more campaign missions. I believe some they had a campaign missions somewhere. Yeah, we'll be doing the campaign one day. I just want to do the challenge mode some more so going back to challenge mode i actually really like challenge mode it's really it's really a nice thing even though some of the challenges are unbalanced at the moment but i i believe that they will eventually become balanced as the game progresses through, through development let's just hope they don't just push out the final version without balancing challenge mode because challenge mode is um basically it's the key feature of the game because that's how you, that's how you unlock all your aircraft is in challenge mode and speaking of unlocking aircraft, let's see how many I have unlocked. And let's go to the skirmish book and see how much I have unlocked. Ah, oh, magazine. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's just see how much we unlocked. Yep. It's an ABC order. Nice. Yeah. I, got, I expected more, but hey, it works. Uh, let's go over our uh, trees. Okay, A10. We, we still stuck on A10A. Still stuck on the beginning of the Phantoms. Although I just, although if I just do the FMD a lot, I'll probably, be able, I'll probably be able to get enough money to buy it. Yeah, that's gonna take forever. Stuck on you. Uh, we'll be doing the Tomcat eventually after I miss one of the F-15s and F uh, and F-117s a lot. F-15, F-16s. My, the Starfighters, but we started the series on, and what and and it was and we were on it for, I don't know, like, like four episodes. It was wow, uh yeah, um f um f uh, f one hundred seventeen. Up oh, and that's time. And we haven't even touched the we haven't even touched this guy, the Drakens, or the Mix. What do I want to end on? Let's take a look at you. All right. Uh, um, let's end on this. There we go. Let's end on this guy. This is blue and white. 
Alright, so, um, yeah. I guess that'd do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Oh, and by the way, um, I did add something last episode that I've been meaning to add for, like, two or three episodes now. And that is, um, if you look in the description, you'll see flight times. And under that, you see all the aircraft that I've flown in the video. And their, mi and their time, mi and the time of the missions. Which, uh, I've been wanting to, like I said, I've been wanting to add for the last two or three episodes, but I just haven't got around to it. Uh, okay, let's be honest, I was too lazy to. Uh, because, uh, because, um, it was just, it's hard to find, it's hard to find the individual starts of the challenges. Um, because it's just not as obvious as it is for, like, a game called World, like, a game like World of Tanks. Because World of Tanks has a long screen, and, was well, has a long screen and a lobby screen, so... Yeah, and, and this we just go from challenge to challenge instantly, so that's why it's harder to find the beginning of the the challenge, the beginning of the challenges. But I'm, but I will, but I will continue to do that right now, guys. It's a good feature if you just want, if basically if you're looking for, if you're looking through, uh, Vector Plus videos and you see that I want, that you see that I've done, um, the and like the um, you see that I've done the A A um, F fifteen A, uh, and you want to look at that video and that video alone, then you would just look in the description and go to that point. And also, if you were rewatching the series and want to go find your favorite aircraft again, then you can just do the same. And that's the system I've been doing with World of Tanks for a while. I actually can't remember when I first started that system in World of Tanks. And uh, I've and also used it in my uh, in my Super Smash Brothers series, which I will be continuing eventually. I just been I, a lot of stuff has been coming out and betas and all that. I just haven't had time to do it. But I will be doing more Super Smash Brothers when. Yeah, when I when I get more time. So yeah, that's why I started that system, and it's a good system. Uh, it's just gonna require more effort and uploading, guys. Yeah, I just I just need to get on lazy. That's the problem. But anyway, so yeah, I also appreciate if you to leave a comment. Just what you like. Tell me if you have any suggestions for this series, like uh, what aircraft you want to see, or any tips on how I'll play uh, Vector Thrust in general. If I know tips, let me ask me in the comments. For people that do not know tip, and I guess see you in a second.